Hello Cancer, we're getting ready to do your reading. This is a love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Cancer. So your energy right now in a love relationship is a five of wands. You're feeling conflicted, you're feeling confused, you're feeling like there are a number of choices, competing priorities, but we're seeing you in this sort of period of indecision. Let's see what else what else is in your energy. We have the Page of Cups. You're wanting love. You would like to make a love offer to someone. And here you are in your reading. Queen of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, the energy is the Page of Wands, wanting to throw caution to the winds. So your energy, Cancer, is really loving somebody, wanting to make an offer, but completely confused, the Five of Wands energy as to what to do. You have competing ideas, different thoughts about it. Let's look and see where your person is at in this relationship in terms of how their energy that they have. Okay, three of wands, they see you as their person. Okay, I like it. So that should help somewhat, right? <laughs> the three of wands, they see you as the ship that's arrived in the harbor that, you know, you're available to them. So when we look at the Five of Wands, we have Leo energy. So you're feeling prideful about something. The Page of Cups energy is Pisces. You might be dealing with a Pisces, a Leo, and or another Cancerian. But you're very much caring deeply about this person. So the Three of Wands, they're looking into the future. They see you as being um, a person that they want to actively choose. Hierophant energy, the energy of a traditional love relationship. Uh, that is a marriage card, traditional marriage card in the Tarot deck. It is ruled by Taurus. The Three of Wands is Aries. So your person is yearning for <clears throat> a sense of home. They're yearning for stability. Their energy towards you is one of wanting to step forward. But we see the moon and we see the owl, so it's hidden. You don't really see it. We get the Ace of Wands. Nice energy. Okay, Cancer. So what we're getting here is this really strong energy that they are going to take action that's Aries energy. They're going to take action towards you. They're going to initiate something that's going to help you come into a very successful time in your relationship. So let's look and see what we have for the outcome. Okay, we have two of swords. So this is a short-term outcome. This is basically a weekly reading, so it's only a week. So we have the two of swords, the seven of cups, this is so interesting. And the Hermit card. So I don't see much action taking place this week. Your outcome speaks to the fact that your person is not in a talkative mood or you aren't. The Seven of Cups says that that is very much scorpionic energy. There's something wrong in the communication here. There's something going on here. It's the feelings are very strong on your partner's part towards you, you towards them. And yet our outcome is very odd. So the two of swords, what's going on here? What is keeping cancer from speaking to their person or their person speaking to them? The two of swords is when you are feeling like you just want to block the world out and stay home. It's that emotional feeling of five of coins. Okay really feeling so the energetic the energy going on in this reading at this time is both of you feeling really left in the cold now it's a very interesting energy given the fact that both of you want to be with each other okay what do we have for the seven of cups judgment card okay so I feel at some point a decision will be made to release fantasy, to release old pain. We get the Son of Cups. So now we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, now we have some action. The Son of Cups or the Knight of Cups is a romantic gesture. Tell us more about this romantic gesture because the Hermit card says that both of you are alone. The Seven of Cups says that both of you have options. And the Two of Swords, this is your mutual energy creating the outcome. The Two of Swords says you're probably not going to speak this week, so why not? Five of Cups, an apology is owed. So there was some sort of really rough conflict in this relationship that is haunting it. 
it looks like somebody is going to make an apology, the Three of Swords. It would have been about a third party or a situation in which, you know, whatever reason it is that you're not speaking involved a third person or a situation that got in your way. The Moon card, it still has not been disclosed at all. You, you know, so Cancer, I feel like the Moon is your energy, but that is the Moon the moon card is Pisces energy. So you might do, be dealing with a Pisces and the death card. Now the moon and the death card can also mean an actual loss of a human being. You know, the death card we've had, well, we've lived through two years of it, but may or may not have anything to do with anything. But th it looks as though the death and the moon card are the reason that there's no talking. There's a sense of insecurity. There's a, a sense of not being able to return to things the way they were, which is, you know, when there's a death card, that's always the case. Something has drawn itself to a complete conclusion. So what I want to clarify here for you, though, is what it is. What is it that died? What What's that, what's that death card represent is actually what I mean. Okay, so what does a death card represent? Ah, okay. So the death card represents, metaphorically speaking, that the trust is gone, that the lightness of being, the, the intrinsic, this is my wish fulfillment kind of feeling. So it does look like there was ghosting here. It looks like there was a breakup here. It looks as though, you know, you're confused. I feel very much that the trust has been blown out of the water is what I'm getting here. And with what looks like good reason, the lover's card a choice has to be make, made. Um, so it looks as though somebody wasn't fully honest. They didn't disclose what they were doing. But we do see that both of you care very deeply with each other, with the lover's card and the star card. There is healing that's possible in this relationship. The judgment card is allowing something to be released, whether it be an attitude, a situation. So this is good news. We have the Wheel of Fortune here for your outcome card. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, and so old wounds get released. Nine of Cups, great celebration. It does look like whoever caused this pain is the person that needs to make the initiation in terms of contact. So Cancer, I don't feel it was you. I'm not seeing that kind of energy there. The Ace of Wands, maybe. But when we get the Seven of Cups, we're getting a lot of watery energy in Scorpio. Let's see, we have Six of Wands, a victory. So there is a victory. Somebody decides to finally make the right choice, release old wounds, clear the air, the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor, reason for celebration with somebody who you're very close to or very uh, that feels very dear to you. You know, there's a lot of love here. And Six of Wands, a victory. So the person has to make the right choice, though, whoever wounded whom. And it can be vice versa, as you know. Let's see why we have the Hermit card here. So we do have somebody who is the King, excuse me, the Knight of Cups, who is holding back, hermiting, all alone, thinking about things, trying to figure things out, ser searching for answers. The Devil card says that whoever is the person that ghosted or caused the problems has a lot of toxic energy. The Devil card means that they have things that are holding them back, holding them down. The Devil energy is Capricorn, and it's, it's a kind of a karmic card, as we see the Judgment is. Four of Wands, so it's being karmic about stability, home, hearth, marriage. So your person, I'm going to say your person because I don't think this is you, Cancer. I'm just not getting that vibe. Hermit card yet again. And we get now the Son of Wands. So the toxic energy, okay, this is really phenomenal. The toxic energy is coming with the Knight of Wands energy versus the Knight of Cups energy. So we have the Knight of Cups energy here, somebody actually wanting to be true to themselves and wanting a very significant relationship. And yet with you, they bring in this very sort of, you know, it's sexy energy, it's exciting energy, it's playful energy. I mean, the Knight of Wands is, you know, a fun card, but it's like somebody who doesn't settle down. 
So the Son of Pentacles. Okay, that's very much of a relief. Because what we're getting here is that your person is coming towards you. Your person is coming towards you. They are coming very slowly. But they're going to exude this energy of, play, you know, in and out energy. We like the Knight of Wands, but this person clearly wants something more established and more substantial with within their life. And so the Son of Pentacles finally brings us into that uh, energy that they are moving towards you in a very solid way that you can count on, a way that is going to be very helpful. It's Virgo energy doing the work. Let's see what you see as the your the destiny for this week that you're going to experience. We have journey in moonlight. Believe in magic. So that's you doing some inner work. That is absolutely you trying to believe in what you can't yet see okay so what is spirit telling us that your person needs to do breaking a trail a breakthrough is at hand and so the breakthrough that i see they need to make is being honest with themselves for some reason your person has a very twisty idea that they're going to be don juan and the truth of the matter is is that they're really not a don juan type person they really want something stable they want something mature but they have this sort of image that they want to project. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to look at this more closely. I want to look at your person and what is going on in their head that has really caused the trouble here. Because when I get the energy, it's their toxicity. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have Lady of Leprechauns. So your person... The Lady of Leprechauns, the true meaning of that card is the the energy that the Lady of Leprechauns is always, she's a leprechaun. She always wants to have affairs with human men or somebody who's very different than her is the way it would translate in this reading. Your person has like a fantasy life an exotic fantasy life that has nothing to do with reality. The Smith says that they actually think that they can have it. Oh, well, if I just work at this fantasy life enough, I'll get what I want. And the fixer. So your person really whitewashes everything. Your person is not very honest. The fixer's a good guy. You know, I will say guy. But, you know, there's a masculine energy here. But they don't talk about things. They never work things through. They really never, they just whitewash over everything. They just, you know, they cover it up. They don't talk. They don't reveal. So your person has very bad communication skills. And um, let's see what else. Let's pull three more cards before we close this out for you and I am sending you love from Chicago that's where I'm recording and I would love to hear from from you where you're watching the video from and give a thumbs up if you like the video please thank you the dreaming okay so your person lives in their head very Piscean energy the dreaming is very much 12th house activity you know that that which happens in the night Pisces is a very dreamy energy so your person lives in a bit of a fantasy world and let's see, one more, well, two more cards. The Queen of Laughter. Okay, so what I get here is that your person really craves somebody who makes them laugh. I feel as though they're not very well grounded. They're not in touch with their emotions. They kind of know what they want, but they fumble around and they really don't get there. And so they're really wanting to be... Their fantasy person is someone who's very different from themselves, somebody who makes them laugh, somebody who is happy, sort of very happy-go-lucky. You know, that's great when you're 18, but, you know, life has a way, and especially in the last two years, of really changing things around. I am going to clarify the energy of the five of wands for you what does the five of wands represent in your energy cancer what's the five of wands the cards are just jumping out of the deck and they're going everywhere i haven't had this happen in three or four months now but it is happening so mother of cups again cancer you are who you are three of cups so your person has treated you when I get the Five of Wands and Three of Cups, it feels like friends with benefits. And the truth of the matter is that you've loved this person for a long time. 
it looks like this love, you know, you don't get the Mother of Cups twice here very easily, the Queen of Cups. So the Page of Cups, tell me about the Page of Cups. The King of Pentacles. So you're coming in with the energy of being very powerful. You have a very good, for most of you watching this, you have good economic stability. You know, you really can be. This is Taurus energy. That's Taurus energy. You virtually represent what this person is really seeking and craving. Why is the Queen of Cups here twice? Well, you're invested. Well, because that's what the Queen of Cups does. You know, moon energy is all about the phases of the moon, gardening, making the investment. Why do they have the Three of Wands in terms of the energy that they have towards you? Quite literally, Six of Cups, a reunion. So they do want a reunion with you. Why do we have the Hierophant here? The World card. They have wanted marriage, but I'm getting that they're beginning to think that it isn't going to happen for them. The world card, though, is leveling up. It is going to the next level within the relationship with you. So let's look and see what else we have now. One more card here, please, Spirit. We have the Ace of Wands. What action will they take? Seven of Cups. Not making a clear-cut choice. That Seven of Cups card is here as your outcome. So your person isn't going to do anything definitive this week. Your person looks as though they are fantasizing about you. They're thinking about what the relationship can be. They're thinking about what they need and want. And so I really don't see them to making any big move, you know, any big choices. But you will in the near future. You've had judgment twice now. The judgment card is here, and the judgment card, I believe, is here. Yes. So you have judgment. Your person will make a judgment call. They will make a decision, I would say, uh, sometime in the next three weeks. Judgment is 20 days, typically. And uh, it does look like they're going to reunite with you. Yeah. And we have a, the Six of Cups twice now. So it does look like you will have a reunion. It looks like that happens. We have Six of Cups here and Six of Cups there. So it does look like you will reunite with this person. Um, for whatever happened, it looks like they feel instinctively that they need to um, take a little break here before they make forward motion or before they come forward. So I do think that you'll get an apology of sorts. I don't think this person is, because they whitewash everything, I don't think that they're going to be completely forthcoming just because it's not their nature. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much, Cancer. Take care. Have a good week. Bye-bye.